Hi, I'm Dr. Cho Li Wei, and here are six things that you need to know about Polycystic Ovary Syndrome, or PCOS. Hi, I'm Dr. Cho Li Wei, and I'm an endocrinologist. That means I deal with medical conditions that's uh, related to hormones. And I've been practicing for the past 20 years, uh, both in the UK and Singapore. What is PCOS? Is PCOS a lifelong condition? And what causes PCOS? Polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS is a common condition that affects women of childbearing age. It affects the fertility as well as causes metabolic conditions such as obesity and diabetes. So unfortunately, PCOS is a lifelong condition but we can help you to manage it. What causes PCOS? PCOS is a condition related to insulin resistance. This is where the body is resistant to the insulin that is produced and therefore, as a result, the body has to produce a lot more insulin to do the same amount of work. With a high insulin level in the body, the ovaries start to develop um, cysts, multiple cysts, and there is also a high level of male hormone in the body called androgens. So these are the hallmarks of polycystic ovary syndrome. What are the signs and symptoms of PCOS? Common signs and symptoms of PCOS is um, irregular period or um, missed period, excessive facial hair or body hair, uh, acne, male pattern hair loss, or the appearance of multiple cysts in the ovaries. These are the major ones that um, we would see normally. Are there certain groups of people with higher risk of PCOS? If you have family members with PCOS, then you have a higher chance of developing the condition. But having said that, having the genetic susceptibility doesn't mean that you will definitely get the condition because environmental factor is important too. So if you keep a, a healthy lifestyle, like eat well, exercise, then you reduce your risk of developing PCOS. How is PCOS diagnosed? There's no one blood test that can be used to diagnose PCOS. A person can be diagnosed to have PCOS if they have two out of three of the following, mainly irregular period or missed period, excessive androgen levels in the body, uh, polycystic ovaries on ultrasound. But then the doctor will also need to exclude other conditions that can present similarly before the condition is diagnosed. Does PCOS affect fertility? Yes, PCOS does affect fertility, but having PCOS doesn't mean that you will not get pregnant. Keeping the weight down is important as having a good weight increases your chance of ovulation and fertility. So if you have regular periods, by all means you could try conceiving on your own and you may be successful. What are the long-term conditions related to PCOS? Apart from fertility, PCOS can also cause metabolic conditions such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or obstructive sleep apnea. Therefore, patients with PCOS should be screened for these conditions. PCOS can also cause cancer of the lining of the womb or endometrial cancer. That's because if a woman doesn't have period for a long period of time, then the lining can accumulate and over a long period of time, this layer of lining can change and cancer can develop. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.